Hi, I'm very, very excited to be sitting here getting a chance to chit chat with a dear friend of mine. You might know her from Drag Race, and she's also been performing all over the world for the past couple of years. So ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce Pandora Box. Hi, Pandora. <laughs> Hi, Sherry. I think it's really funny that we've actually only known each other for like a year and a half. I feel the same. I'm kindred spirits. Yeah. Now let's talk about uh, RuPaul's Drag Race. You were on season two. Was I? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was on two. that show. You were. <laughs> I saw it. I'm pretty sure you were. How did that come about? I mean, I know that the girls have to like audition, send in audition tapes or whatever. Well, I was um, a video editor at a local TV station, so I just remember seeing something that said RuPaul was, had got a show greenlit and it was called RuPaul's Drag Race for Drag Queens. And so I was like, this is, I think this is it. I think this might be my chance. And then I didn't get on and I watched the show and I hated it <laughs> until I realized I didn't hate it. I was just being a bitter bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and so I decided that the second season I was just going to try and do uh, the, a better audition video, like what I didn't do in the first video. Right. And then I started getting phone calls, and you go through this whole interview process. You have to take a psych evaluation, which are you serious? Yeah, which I think I failed. That's why I got on. I was going to say I find it very <laughs> hard to believe that some of the performers <laughs> passed. Well, I found out that the psych evaluation is—it's more. It's not like pass or fail. It's kind of like if you if you kind of register a little crazy, you're just immediately on the show. Oh, okay, okay, that must be. <laughs> that makes more sense. Yeah, and so and I and I got on through that process and. And it's been an amazing experience, an amazing journey, and it kind of did exactly what I wanted it to do. Yeah, I mean, it opens a lot of doors, and you're, since you're like your career has exploded since then, I mean, you're like always on a plane. Yes. What's your process in like writing and creating like an original song as opposed to, you know, lip syncing or performing live or whatever? Well, I've always wanted to do an original song, and even though I'm not really a great singer, you know, I can talk a good song, and I can lightly sing enough to get me by. But it wasn't really about singing so much as just about that I wanted funny comedy songs to do, and the only, there really aren't a lot of funny comedy dance right. songs, and if there were, they're by another drag queen. So it, it just kind of just happened, and, and nice car, uh, well it's nice car, parentheses, shame about your penis, right. which we just added on later, because I was like, you know, I might as well just tell it, just say it right, right. out, so everybody knows what it's about. Because nice car's a little misleading. It is, <laughs> and not as fun. I realize now what a long process it is, even to make one song, because it's been, I don't, I don't know, like months that we've been working on well, this. Oh yeah, we're, I have two original songs that I did with Gomi and each took a year. <laughs> a year! Yeah. I want to thank you so much, Pandora, for being our first guest on season two, and I wish you a lot of luck and success. Thank Ladies you. and gentlemen, Pandora Box. Thank you. Thank you for having me on your show. Oh, I'm going to have you. <laughs>